Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I'm on the road, but I'm doing my best to keep you posted. So let's get right to it. This is what we've got. Here's the coast of Africa. And again, watching this strong tropical wave. This wave will continue to march its way through the Atlantic toward the Caribbean. Over the short term, there are no crazy signs of development. National Hurricane Center picking up on it as well, giving it about a 20% chance to develop over the next several days. Now, I want to caution though, down the road, while I don't see any rapid development or anything crazy over the next few days, and I'll show you why, once it gets into the Caribbean or near the Caribbean, conditions could become a little more favorable for development. There is a kind of a pocket where the wind shear will relax. And that means just simply put that it will eventually have a chance to develop some. So way down the road, keep an eye on that. But that makes sense because that would be about a week down the road. And you know things can change at that point. So Caribbean here across the Atlantic, here's the coast of Africa. This is the wave that we're watching. Again, this is today. And this is what we'll continue to track together on this weather community, watching the rain and storms here. Now, as we go out in time, I'm not seeing anything crazy with that development. Again, there's a lot of dry air. And I wanna show you that in just a second. There's a ton of dry air that is around. As we go forward in time, this is by the time we get into the weekend, stopping it here. This is the tropical wave that I'm watching right here. And again, it's not a hurricane. It's not a tropical storm. Now, this is the American model, but it is now in line with the European model. So they're both generally the same at this point. That's good news. Everything has a good handle on it. So just showing you this again, American and the European, very similar. The timing will change a little bit, but as we go out in time, both the models showing this again, by the time we get into early next week, approaching the Caribbean at that point, Still not a tropical storm. I'll keep an eye on out for any changes, obviously, but still not a tropical storm. A strong tropical wave by the time we get into Monday. So at that point, I'll have a very good handle on if it will eventually develop down the road. So still out here. By the time we get into Tuesday, you see again a strong tropical wave. Both the European and the American model have this approaching, not as an organized system, but as an area of rain. And we've been doing this all season, tracking these tropical waves that have been moving Moving in after that, sliding in some rain next week to parts of the Caribbean, and then I'll see again if it will develop. But look at this. Here's the wave right here. Again, more action off the coast of Africa, but it's this wave right here. Look at all this dry air. And as you know, there's been a lot of dust and dry air around. So again, it's going to be dealing with that as we go over the next several days. So I don't expect this thing to blow up uh, anytime soon. But as we get way down the road into next week, I'm going to keep an eye on this because the water temperatures, like we've been talking about the last few weeks are so, so warm. Water temperatures, again, 29, 30, 31 degrees uh, Celsius. We're talking about numbers in the 90s Fahrenheit. Uh, some low 90s for those water temperatures and spots over by the Keys, some mid 90s and spots by the Florida Keys. Point being in the Caribbean, in the Gulf of Mexico, in the Western Atlantic, water temperatures are so, so very warm. That ad adds fuel to these things. So even if it's just a tropical wave as it approaches, eventually it could strengthen some uh, once it moves into the Caribbean, feeds off of those warm waters. Now, right now we have Don in the North Atlantic. I'll get to that. The next name on the list is Emily. We'll see if this eventually gets a name. Could be some other area or maybe this just doesn't get a name at all. But again, Emily is the next name on the list. Here's the Northern Atlantic, Azores, Bermuda here. You see this spin right here. Again, this is Don and Don just spinning out there. It's been doing so for days and days as a subtropical storm, subtropical depression, tropical storm. Either way, we've got this spin out there. Eventually, it's going to get into those cooler waters and just kind of get taken away. I wish all the storms were like Don, just kind of hanging out there in the North Atlantic, no big issue uh, whatsoever. Back into the Caribbean again, been watching a few scattered showers and storms, parts of Venezuela, Jamaica. We've had some scattered showers around. Keep me posted in the comments. I've been watching us. And look at the flare up over toward Belize, catching my eye. We have some of that rain around, especially central and southern Belize. Not for all of us, but there is some around. I've been watching that uh, near northern Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador. We'll see some scattered showers and storms as we get through that uh, day ahead. Now, as we take a look at the model, here's two o'clock uh, for today. Again, spotty showers and storms. That's really going to be the rule. Trinidad and Tobago will stay kind of active, nothing crazy as a whole. There could always be isolated flooding, but again, watching out for some scattered showers. Venezuela, northern Venezuela, some rain and storms. Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama tomorrow. Watching out for some of the rain. This is on our Friday afternoon. Bahamas, not a ton. So again, as I mentioned yesterday, as we get through the end of the week, 
week into tomorrow, end of the week, makes sense, uh, we are going to see, again, not a ton of rain, which means super, super hot, which is a big issue. Again, we've been having a lot of issues with the water, water restrictions, or just, you know, things like that. As we work our way into our Saturday, we'll see some scattered showers and storms, Grenada, Trinidad, Tobago, a uh, chance of that, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, a couple pop-up showers and storms, same thing, Haiti and the Dominican Republic, and again, more action as we get over toward Central America as we work our way into our Saturday forecast. As far as the Eastern Pacific is concerned, no big blow up uh, near the uh, coast of uh, Mexico. Again, not seeing any flare up. Those uh, bigger blows uh, kind of flare ups over toward uh, the uh, uh, open water. So that's some good news. So even if there's some development here, a lot of that will kind of be uh, scooting away. So let's get into some forecasts for you. Again, today in Belize, that rain chance high, I just showed you that area of rain. We have it around already as we work our way to Trinidad and Tobago. Scattered today and tomorrow, about a 40% chance, a 50% chance as we get into Saturday. Isolated passing showers as we work our way into Grenada. Same thing as we slide over towards St. Vincent of the Grenadines. Rain chance the next couple days at about 30 to 40 percent. 30 percent chance today in St. Lucia. Couple passing showers. 20 percent chance tomorrow. A little drier. It is going to be hot. Barbados. 30 percent chance today. 20 percent chance tomorrow and Saturday. Working our way into Dominica. Rain chance 20 to 30 percent. And you'll see that trend in these forecasts. Not a lot for Aruba. Mainly dry. Slight chance of a passing shower. A 30 percent chance today in Curacao a 20% chance for tomorrow. Guyana, 40% chance today, 50% chance tomorrow and Saturday. Costa Rica, as I was just showing you in the model again, rain picking up, same thing over toward Panama, 70% chance tomorrow, 80% chance as we work our way into our Saturday forecast. Jamaica, some scattered showers and storms around today. We've already had some in spots, I was showing you that, a 40% chance for us as we swing back toward the Cayman Islands. Rain chance not super high, 30% chance today. Uh, and again tomorrow, 20% chance of a pop-up storm in Haiti today, 30% chance Friday and Saturday, swinging back to the Dominican Republic, 30% chance the next two days, a 40% chance on Saturday. Getting into Puerto Rico, heat advisories again in place today, super hot weather, and you see because the rain chance goes down, temperatures go up, 20% chance of a shower, not a lot over toward the uh, Virgin Islands, 10, 20% chance over the next three days, and back toward Northern Venezuela, Again, few showers and storms around now. Rain chance bumping around 30, 40%. Bahamas, 20, 30% chance the next few days. And as we get into the Turks and Caicos, mainly dry, small chance of a shower as we slide through the end of the week into the upcoming weekend. St. Kitts and Nevis, rain chance 20%. So again, drier weather also equates to hotter weather. Guadalupe, Martinique, 30% chance today, tomorrow, 40% chance as we work our way into our Saturday forecast. Anguilla, limited. 20% chance, only a 10 to 20% chance in Tiga and Barbuda. It is going to be mainly on the dry side. No big system nearby, no big tropical wave. Same thing, St. Martin, Saba, Stasia. Getting over toward Montserrat, St. Bart's, rain chance 10, 20%, 30 to 40% chance over the next three days as we get into Suriname. So lots to track, but again, in the short term, we've got that heat around. So days and days of tracking that tropical wave. Right now, it is surrounded by that dry air. Also watching a ton of that dust around. It could develop some next week, but as of now, the dust in the heat is around. Thanks for joining me while I'm on the road. Thank you for your patience with all of this, but you know I've got you covered, and I'll continue to to do so. Hope you have a good rest of your day.